good morning. Hey, and happy Mother's Day to all you mothers out there and anybody who happens to know a mom. Yeah, today, this morning, I am making, oh, well, it's a mini brunch, I guess you'd call it. And it's a simple, easy, baked French toast. Let's just get started. What do you need? Well, you're going to need some bread, obviously. I happen to be using some uh, brioche rolls that we had that I just kind of cut, quartered up and cubed up, I guess you could say. They're in there. You're going to need some eggs, some heavy whipping cream, some whole milk. Hey, don't skimp on these. You know, you're not going to do this every morning. You're just doing it for this morning. So don't skimp. You need some vanilla extract, some cinnamon, brown sugar, white sugar. What else? Oh, some butter. I don't know if I'm going to have enough space in my little pan right here. Oh, yeah, it'll be fine. Now we need eight eggs. Nothing more satisfying than cracking an egg. Next up, two cups of whole milk. Half cup of heavy cream. Wow, that is thick stuff. Okay. Half a cup of sugar. Let's do this carefully here. Hopefully we won't spill over too much. Excellent. And then we need half a cup of brown sugar. Nobody said that this was a particularly healthy breakfast. Spoons of vanilla extract. Ooh, boy, I don't know that I have enough. One. Whew. Crisis averted. And once you've got all that, whisk it up. And you're going to pour it over the bread chunks. Now, one of the things, the recipe actually says that you can refrigerate this, cover it and refrigerate it. You don't have to, but um, and I'm, certainly I'm not going to be doing that. It's supposed to be even better. All right, now just make sure that you spread this over the bread as evenly as you can. Time to make the topping. Going to need half cup of flour, another half cup of brown sugar, cinnamon, quarter teaspoon of salt, one stick of butter cut into pieces. Now take your handy dandy pastry cutter and blend it all together, the butter, the brown sugar, the flour, the cinnamon, and you want it to end up looking 
kind of like little pebbles. When you're ready to put the French toast into the oven, just take your crumbles, spread them over the top. Into the oven. Your choice now, 45 minutes will give you a bread pudding kind of consistency, or if you leave it in for an hour, it'll give you a crispier kind of French toast. Your choice. We'll see you back here in about 45 minutes to an hour. Oh my God, look at that explosion. Whoa, that <laughs> I'm surprised at. Well, let's scoop some of this out and see what we've got here. It's very, very soft. Nice crust on top. That is light and fluffy and airy. It's so aromatic. Is that a good term to use for this? It has a great aroma. <laughs> Let's put it that way. Have to be careful. Very, very steamy hot. Mm. It is oh. just delicious. Man. That is so good. The topping makes it nice and crispy and chewy. Um, and then underneath you've got the really light and airy brioche um, bread, almost like bread pudding, like, and then the strawberry on top. Oh. Golly, that is one of the tastiest <laughs> French above, toasts. It's above French toast. Yeah, this is so good. An absolute must. Thanks to Iz Harris for her video on this. Again, I'll put a link to her, her video. She's a cinematographer. She and her husband are cinematographers, so it's a little more... Um, mm, I don't know what term you want to use, but you'll enjoy it. Must, must, must try. Thanks for stopping by. I appreciate it. I know it's not travel and it's not cameras, but hey, if you like this kind of stuff, make sure that you subscribe. Click that um, bell icon. Give, a th give us a thumbs up. Comment. We'll see you next time. Thanks.